Alrighty guys, today we are going to be learning about for loops, and I have one here for you already written. So guys, I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, so what is a for loop you're asking? Well this is what one looks like, but for now I'm going to get rid of that. So in the last video, we talked about printing out random numbers from, let's say, any number from 1 or 0, integer.min to integer.max, whatever the maximum and minimum values that in can store are. Very large numbers, by the way. Um, and we talked about printing out a number from a past value to the random number from method that was from that value to a value 100 greater than that. So if we passed in 10, it would print out a number from 10 to 110 randomly. And we wrote this method here, in, or this group of code in the main method, that would print out 100 random numbers from 10 to 110. So this right here is ugly, and don't do it, it will make me vomit. And here's why. We could write this. Except that has weird... Hold up. There we go. If you guys, if you want to fix your indentation, it's really easy. Just hit Control A, and then hit Tab, and it'll automatically indent everything beautifully for you. So, this right here is the exact same thing as writing this. So, when we write four, let's write four. Let's write this and explain it as we go. So, down here we declared i to equal zero. We said, well, i is less than 100. We want to print out random numbers from 10 to 110, and then add to i of course, because we need i to get bigger, so we have a stopping condition. If we write a for loop, what we're doing is saying, okay, for, we're going to start out by initializing i, and for is a bad word choice at this point, but it'll get better later. I'll explain why in the future videos when we learn about for each or enhanced for loops. So i is equal to 0, i is less than 100, so for every time or for the first time we do this, we want to set i equal to 0. For every time, we want to check if i is less than 100. And at the end of every time running, so this right here is at the very beginning of when we go into the loop. When we start looping, we want to declare this. And then we want to say, okay, i is less than 100, i++. plus plus. And this gets run, at, i++ plus plus gets run at the end every time. And we don't need a semicolon after this. We need semicolons after these guys. So I++ says, okay, at the end of every time we're going to add to I, at the beginning of every time we're going to check if it's less than 100, sorry, I yawned there. And at the very first time we run this, we're going to set I equal to zero. So we don't even need bra or curly braces to do this here. We can just do print int random num from 10 because it's only one line, and I explained that in the previous video, that if it's only one line of code, you don't need braces. And this i here, like, I talked about this a little bit in variables, I believe. i dies at the end of the method, it goes away. So, uh, this right here, since it's declared in the for loop, it dies at the end of the loop, whereas this would die at the end of the method. So this is an uglier solution that we don't want, because it doesn't allow us to use, or it, it doesn't allow us to like re-declare i, so this right here, if we were to run this, this would print out 200 values, because we do it twice, so if we'll, we'll just remove this here, that's equivalent to, oh, that is equivalent to the whole while loop that was there before, this thing. So there we go, that is a for loop, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.